definitely uh, this is what we're doing. I need to put the uh, blend actuator motor in my truck again. <laughs> I didn't uh, took too long before. Let me just go over here getting the other one in, and I couldn't wait. It was it was ridiculous how long I had to wait for this part. But when it come in, it was already dead winter, so I didn't worry about changing it. That's what we're going to change today. Again, you got to take the whole dash off, drop the steering wheel column down. There's a bolt up underneath here. You got to take the dash out, the radio out, all the panels up underneath here. I mean, completely the whole dash off of it to get to this box right here, which is, I don't know, I guess about right here on top of this box. And that's about right there. And I thought about cutting a hole in right here because you'd probably be able to reach it, but. I don't want a big hole in my dash, so I'm going to take it all off. It ain't that hard, really, you know, it's take about an hour, you know, just staying steady at it, you know, you can get it all done, and back together probably like an hour, hour and a half, you know, probably take me about two hours, because got to take a break here, there, you know how it goes, but anyways, all right, this is what I'm chasing, so I'll get the dash tore back apart, and uh, tore apart and everything and I'll show y'all where I'm at yeah, where I was at this didn't even take me I don't know six minutes to get this much you know it's very simple stuff here all this come out 17 millimeter take all these bottom panels out the dash panel on mine it's just held in by Phillips screws pops out simple stuff you know you gotta take the whole dash cover off Really all I got left to do, I need to drop the steering column to get to another screw that's right here. You know, so if you're doing this, <clears throat> changing this motor, remember there's a screw here. You can see right here where this one's been busted before. When we was doing this the first time, we didn't do it. We found it. And then really, you can just a little bit of looking and pulling on it. You feel it's right here where the screws that you just cannot get to it with a steering column in the way. So just... Got to unbolt it, drop it down, boom, ready to go. And then all that's left to do is the screw here, screw over there, two up on top, right here on the vent area, and she's ready to go. I can have a you know, matter of another two minutes. It probably all this would have, you know, together nonstop would have took me 10, 15 minutes to get the whole dash off and then get to the motor. Ain't gonna take but a second, like I said, hour, hour and a half even stopping. Uh, but. You know, it's not very hard, just a little bit of, bunch of bull stuff to get through just to get to that little motor. But, it is what it is. Alright, let me get this tore down and I'll come back and show you where I'm at. Well, it looks like I get to do this for a third time. So, this one is the one I had ordered. And I knew it looked funny, because you see right there, probably can't tell it. But it's missing eight. Mine has all of them across there, but I don't use them. I use 10, 8, and 7. And I am missing 8 on this one. So, what I tried to do was see, this one was my original gear. It was broke. So, I replaced it with the stuff out of this one, since I ain't going to send that one back. Trying to get this one to work, but the motor is what's burned up on this one. So... <laughs> Tuck the motor out of this one, wire it up into this one, which is on a different speed, undoubtedly, because it won't stop. Every which way I've tried to hook it up, it won't stop, you know what I mean? It just, once you get it to a certain point it's where it's supposed to blend and go and stop and go back and stop, it's not doing that. So it's a different style motor. The speed where it hooks up is different. So all of this is crap. So I get to put the truck back together without having this fixed again and I'm going to try to find one locally that way I don't go through all this crap again and if I have a problem with it I can just take it back but that is Murphy's Law for today let you see all of it that's what it looks like in here so in the motors right here for those that don't know right there so, you know like I mean if you just to get to that box you got to do all of this just to get to that little box 
but it is what it is. Hippo poop. But I'll put this up. Let y'all see my Murphy's Law for the day, and I'll put this back together, get my truck back together, and then go try to find another motor. Hopefully, they got one around here. Anyways, I'm getting back at it. All right. Dang it. All right. Later, taters. All right. We got lucky. Parts house had one. I had to wait for it. To, you know, I had to order it right quick. It didn't take that long to get here from another store, but here it is. So we don't have to put my truck back together without it not being fixed. It is a little different. This piece here, this plastic where mine's metal and it's missing the you know five and six but it doesn't really matter all i use is ten eight and seven so already hooked it up it works perfectly so yep we're putting the truck back together so yay all right let me do this and i'll holler back at y'all all this i don't know if you can see it because of the glare right there's the box in the top there is a seven millimeter bolt here and another one in the back right on top right there it opens the door right here in between the boxes so yeah i just wanted to let y'all see that all right let me get this done it's all put back together back the way it was all up underneath there make sure you get all my fancy bolts back in one underneath the dash everybody hates that one well, uh, i hope it still works <laughs> but this ain't really gonna tell much at all but, you know I can't tell I won't be able to tell until I get going but anywho it should be working anyways all right I'll holler at y'all taters later